All right, guys, it's time to get your groove on. Valentine's Day is coming to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm going to give you all the information about the event, what you can be doing with it, and look out for lots of dinosaurs making love. Hello, Rat Packs, it's Jade. Make sure you like the video if you find the information useful. Come and join my Discord to keep up to date what's going on my Genesis servers when they go live. Let's crack on with everything you need to know about Ark today. So the Community Crunch has got all the details about the Valentine's Day and we know the exact date it's going to be going live. Love Evolved is what it's now called, not formally known as Valentine's Day. It's going to be starting on February the 11th at 6pm UTC time and it's going to run through till Tuesday, February the 18th, 18 o'clock UTC time. While Ark is under Cupid's spell, you can expect to find past event items and brand new skins. See the full event details below. Now there is some additional information about what you can expect or how you can get some of these items. For the duration of the event, Cole Kanaf will be fishing for some love, reeling these amorous fish and be showered in candies, some chocolate and even chibi pets. Now the fish are going to be specially marked, you will be able to recognise them as special fish and these are the ones that you've got to catch. They're not going to be super rare so you're not going to be sitting there for like 10 hours trying to just get one cold canaf. But it also matters the size of them apparently so you're going to have to maybe get some of your best rods if you've got an ascendant one or anything like that. And that may affect what rare chibis you actually get from the event. They're also going to have an increased breeding, harvesting, maturing, etc. rates going for the event. With a new emote, flirty emote, new items, Cupid Couture Bottom Pants Skins, Cupid Couture Top, Halo Headbands, Teddy Bear Grenades, Bow and Eros, i.e. a bow skin, Love Shackles Handcuff Skin. So this is really what I was going for and said recently that they are looking at ways to basically customize the game a little bit more and add skins so that you can really make certain things stand out a little bit. This is good news. I could see them maybe turning this into a, a microtransaction in the future, but they have said they would never do that. No one tell them they've already did it though. Now item skins aren't exactly that new for your clothing, but what I really mean is like for bows and possibly in the future they may be able to add more skins for crafting stations. That would be really cool if you could uh, slot a skin on something like an actual item like a crafting station or even base parts. Just an idea to consider if they could do that. This was part of what they said a few weeks ago when they announced that the bow would be getting some skins and so it looks like we're going to get at least more weapon skins for all different types of things including the grenades too. Anywho, uh, yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, I'm guessing there's going to be a lot more skins and stuff from the previous events. I'm going to go through that as well. It looks pretty cool. I ain't going to lie, the Halo headband looks pretty decent. I think most people, though, are looking forward to the chibis, the new ones that have been revealed. Are they going to be a little brief look at what's happening with Genesis? I'm not too sure. I reckon we might get one creature maybe showing up. But don't expect the six new chibis that are now coming to be all just Genesis creatures. It's likely to be a mix. I really hope it's this guy we actually get a chance to see a bit more upfront and personal. We've not really heard anything about him, we've not seen any of the mechanics associated with him going underwater and being able to basically build a base on his back. The only thing we do know is that it is called Giant Turtle. That's what it's called in the game files which were recently updated. So yeah, six new chibi pets. As I said, don't expect them to be all just Genesis creatures. It's likely it's going to be five creatures that we didn't get from the original game or some of the other DLCs. They're going to have the wild event colours and they're going to have the past event items, the chocolates, which can be used to heal your tames or give you a big boost in getting new tames. So I think it speeds up the taming process. And more Valentine's candies, which can give your tame dinosaurs a random colouring. I'll be there to show you guys exactly how to spawn in the skins and the chibis when the update goes live next Tuesday. All right, let's get back to the meat and potatoes. It's the anti-mesh system. Now, there have been significant issues and lots of people have been talking about it on social media and asking a lot of questions about why there's so many false negatives. It's basically listed that the mesh system is meant to notify it that you're in the incorrect part of the map. You're underneath the map and you shouldn't be there or underneath a piece of terrain that you shouldn't be. But there are false negatives, which means that basically you're not underneath the map. You're just walking around normally. You're not trying to cheat. You're not trying to do anything stupid. But it will flag you as in the mesh. This thread is really super useful. So if you're playing on any of the official maps particularly, and you're really worried about losing any progress or your character, you should really go and check out the thread and see where the hotspots are. It does look like it's not going to be fixed as quickly anytime soon. And of course, this is the other side of dealing with cheaters. There's always going to be some instances where people are getting this flagged 
doesn't mean they're cheating it just might mean that they're actually being part of the map and terrain they're just walking along and it's killing them particularly caves seem to be the big hot spot so if you're thinking of doing a cave run on officials this week i would hold off until you get the all clear Again, aberration seems to be the one that is worst affected that I can see from this thread, and you can see it's absolutely huge. Now, Ark aren't the only ones that have an issue with mesh, and it seems to be exactly the same point. So I raised this with the Conan Exiles community manager, as they have been commenting talking about the same similar problems. Walk into a cave, instant death, minor rock, instant death, kill an enemy, instant death. They've got other issues as well, particularly with rubber banding after the last update. And the message that most people are receiving just randomly is you've fallen from the world. But that is something to do with the mesh. Anyway, I did ask the community manager for Conan Exiles if it was something to do with the engine. Because it just seems a bit weird that both games obviously run on Unreal Engine. Both have similar problems at exactly the same time. She said maybe, but it's partially on our side. I'm not sure if it could also be linked to Unreal Engine. So that made me think there must be some sort of plugin or something they're doing. I kind of hope not. I kind of hope it's just random. Otherwise, it kind of puts into shade a little bit that Ark have been working months and months on this new anti-mesh system for cheaters. When it turns out, it might just be something that's been turned on in the Unreal Engine. I don't want to throw shade. I don't know that for definite. I've tried looking around to do with the Unreal Engine updates, but I'm just not that clued in with how it all works. So if you know anything about the Unreal Engine and you've seen anything updates or any plugins that have become available, let me know. I think it's just interesting to see how much work or how they have to tailor it or customize it to their game. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe the engine has helped, but obviously the developers still have to find a way that makes it work for their game. But yeah, nevertheless, it's still a bit of a crap situation. It is definitely bringing down the amount of cheating. And there are always going to be new methods and people saying there's new ways to do this and do that. But it's still positive in my eyes. It's just got to go through some of these teething baby steps. And you may have noticed that you couldn't connect to any EU servers last night. There was a big outage for like about six, seven hours. Wildcard didn't really were on the ball. I guess they were asleep. But they have said that they reacted to something. They had to turn it off and restart the servers quickly. And that caused a big issue and a big problem. Hopefully you weren't affected too much on official servers. But if you was wondering why you couldn't connect, that was why. They have extended the EVO event as well for another 24 hours though to make up for it. And the Community Crunch pretty much finishes off saying that the community uh, sponsorship program for mods is closing in a couple days. It's going to close on the 5th, I do believe. So if you are a modder, you're interested, might be a bit too late now, but hey, maybe you're finalising a few bits. Go and check out some of the entries, obviously, when they get chosen for the bursary for the modded program. And pretty much at this point, my weekly disclaimer or warning, don't believe loaded clickbait when he keeps showing off some of these mods and trying to pretend that they're going to come to console. It's a load of bullshit. They're not. We've only really ever had one mod from this sponsored mod program. I swear there's been over like 75 of these sponsored mods in the program in the past. And the only one that actually got incorporated into the main game was the Structures Plus mod. And we got a few bits like triangle pieces and a few other extras that were added in. And that took years. The other stuff like Valguero, Ragnarok and the centre map, they actually all won a separate modding competition. They weren't part of the sponsored mod program. They won a uh, competition or, or at least Ragnarok got put into it afterwards. Either way, if you count that even, it's still only two mods out of 75 in the space of nearly five years. So no, they're not coming to console. Don't believe clickbait. The best we can hope for is that maybe a map gets really good positive reception and Wildcard go ahead and pull it over just like they did with Valguero last year. But maps are getting a bit dry. I would love them to do one mod, at least one different type of mod. No maps, just something brand new for console players to have some new experience or go and fix Primitive Plus. Do something Wildcard. Also, if you're still having problems playing single player where either Rock Drake eggs, Wyvern eggs are disappearing or you're not getting any loot crates, that kind of started at the beginning of January. I've gone through all these problems. I don't really want to keep rehashing it. But Wildcard are aware they've started a thread on the actual Survivor Art forum. Said replied on Reddit. So it's good to see that they are actually starting to use a bit more social media rather than just Twitter. And that is it, guys. I will be back next week. Next week's Tuesday Community Crunch most likely will be me giving you info on the update that's coming in. So expect it a bit later in the day. And look out this week, I will finally get my What's Coming to Art 2020 video done and finished. 
Also for next week, I wanna create some farms using creatures mating and stuff like that. So if you've got any screenshots from past events or you can sort of manufacture it for right now when they're just breeding, come into my Discord and post them in our ARC screenshots tab. I'll give you a shout out if I use your picture and I might, may use it as a thumbnail next week. Link for Discord is in the description box and it will be in the comment section. Also look out for my A to Z of ARC, that's coming very soon guys, I've been working hard on these, so that's going to be coming very, very soon. So, until next time, Rat Bags, laters.